Hey everyone, it's Desi Cheng, and I just updated the fir two firmware version 1.1 on the Canon EOS R5, and I'm happy to say that the improvements it has made to the overheating problem has made me very, very, very happy. Uh, and the reason is just because I mostly shoot in the regular 4K modes. I like for this YouTube channel, I won't even touch the 8K or even the 4K HQ modes just because the data rates are so huge, it's kind of unnecessary. And uh, even when I'm shooting my family, it's just, I don't need that. And if I am shooting anything larger production and uh, or, or for a commercial, uh, I'll be using my Blackmagic 6K or I'll be using my RED, but I'm not. So with the Canon EOS R5, I'll be shooting in the regular 4K formats. Now, I did a test last night and I shot 4K 60p IPB and it went about over an hour and 15 minutes and at some point I stopped it just because I had to go to bed and it did not overheat and I was very, very happy and that was the 4K IPB mode. So today I just did a 4K 60p in all I mode and it did overheat at 55 minutes and I uh, essentially stopped the camera, I turned it off, let it rest for only about five or six minutes, and then I turned it back on. It said I could only record uh, like five more minutes on, but I got an extra 10-ish minutes uh, in addition before it overheated and turned off by itself. So let's just call it an hour. And with an hour of 4K 60p footage, uh, that's and that's really, really good. And I don't think I'd ever, ever even hit that in a single event. Now you have to remember when you're shooting 4K 60p, you're shooting it because you want slow-mo and you're shooting it in small little chunks here and there, 10 second, 20, 30 second, one minute chunks. I would never ever shoot it in a vlog style thing like this, just because I'd be shooting in 24p. And when you're shooting in 24p, it's unlimited in terms of it doesn't overheat in 24p. So you don't really have to worry about it. So if I had an hour of 4K 60p footage before it overheated, uh, I feel like that is plenty because you have to remember that if you're at an event, you're not shooting the entire time. You're shooting here and there. You'll stop, you turn off the camera, have a break. Um, and you know, let's say if you had a wedding ceremony uh, and you're shooting the ceremony, you'd be shooting your, in you know 24p most of the time. And same thing with the reception, unless you wanted to get a few flavor shots, then you'd switch to 60p. So all in all, I feel like the overheating problem uh, now with the firmware upgrade uh, is not really big of that big of an issue for me. So, and again, if it really is an issue, then you should just buy a Sony a7S III. Uh, anyways, these are just my thoughts um, and my experience and my test results that I wanted to share with you guys. So anyways, if you like this, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.